The following are two word problems discussing um, things that will have eventually have equations in them. On number one, it says the sum of four consecutive odd integers is 840. What are the three numbers? Well, to do this, we start by defining a variable. Okay, whenever you're going to try to use algebra to solve a problem like this, you've got to define a variable. And I'm going to define that variable as n, and I'm going to let n be the smallest of the integers. And because n is the smallest of the integer, the next integer after that, the next consecutive odd integer. Well, if you think of an example, if we started with 7, the next one would be 9. And the way you get from 9 to 7 is you add 2. The way you get from 9 to 11 is you add 2. The way you get from 11 to 13 is you add 2. So if I've got four consecutive odd integers, my first one is n, and I'm adding these together, so I'll do this as we go. The second is n plus 2. Right? If the smallest number is n, the next biggest one is going to be n plus 2. Okay, because if you have 3, then the next odd number after that is 5. Okay, then the next one, n plus 4. Right, if you started with 3, the 2 away is 7, which is adding 4. And then the last one is n plus 6. And then that's going to equal 840. So now it's just a matter of solving it. Uh, n plus n plus n plus n is going to give you 4n plus 12 equals 840. Then you need to solve this, so you're going to subtract 12 from both sides, and you're going to get 4n equals 828. If you divide 4n by 828, you're going to find out that n is equal to 207. So the, the, the four small numbers would be 207. This should be four integers. 207, 209. 211 and 213. Those are the four consecutive odd integers. If you added those up, they would equal 840. Okay, on the next question, it's just basic, um, a basic equation problem. You get a lot of different situations like this. It says a cell phone company charges $30 per month. So this is a what would be called a fixed rate per month. It doesn't matter what your usage is. It's a fixed rate. But this, the variable weight rate, does matter, 0 .07 cents per minute, or $0.07 dollars per minute, 7 cents per minute. If Mr. T's January cell phone bill was $59.40, how many minutes did he talk? Well, we're only talking about one month, so we know we only have to worry about $30. So we got $30 plus 0 .07 times T, which we're going to let minutes. And whenever you do a problem like this, you need to let me know what your variable is. So I'm going to say t is the number of minutes. And that's because that's what the question asked for. The question said how many minutes. That's what you're looking for, t. Well, so the $30 plus your $0.07 cents t, if, that's, if you put that equal to 59.40, we should be able to solve this problem. To do it, we're going to subtract 30. We're going to get 0 .07 t equals 29.40. When you divide both sides by 0 .07, if you divide both sides by 0 .07, you can find out that the answer to this problem is 0 .07. going to be equal to um, 420 minutes. So t is going to be equal to 420 minutes. Um, because if you divide 29.40 by 0 .07, you'll find out that it equals 420. So the number of minutes that Mr. T used was 420.